we, we basically only really used storyboards for the rendered cinematics. Um, and the storyboarding was uh, it came in kind of late. What we did first is we, we went through everything um, with Tobias, uh, the, our lead, one of our lead artists. And he, what we basically did was we went through what we wanted to accomplish. Um, and I'm sort of of the opinion that cinematics should be used to do what we can't do in game. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, like I said before, tiny units on a battlefield, how do you present emotions and feelings and, and because that's one of the things a lot of strategy games don't do. They don't try to convey this sense of emotion and make you want to really feel for the characters and that's one thing we wanted to do. So um, we had a brief discussion, well, we want to do this and this and this and these settings um, because there's always a technical aspect as in if we want to let, let's say we want to place a scene inside a cathedral okay can we build that cathedral and how long is going to take which is going to cost to build that cathedral and it's up to uh, our, our team Tobias mainly to say well this is possible this is not possible I was uh, moving over to cinematics from uh, being a lead uh, for uh, the in-game uh, last summer uh, when we discovered that we uh, really needed to get started on, on this uh, on these cinematics. In Grand Total 1 we were aiming for uh, uh, having real-time cinematics and uh, making them really lightweight and uh, uh, it, uh, we shifted over to now for Grand Total 2 uh, to have uh, as heavy pre-rendered settings as possible. Cinematics should be uh, cool looking. They should be a great uh, thing to watch between uh, different episodes in the game. And when you have uh, successfully played uh, like the first part of the game, uh, or for instance when you start up the game, you want to have uh, the taste for the universe and want to see some cool units and at the same time being uh, briefed on events uh, occurring in the universe. Well, first of all, uh, we need this uh, we need a storyline and uh, uh, the work tightly with the design team. And uh, we started out by making rough sketches and uh, uh, trying to see how everything fits together and what, what we want to show and what is interesting. And uh, then we make uh, simple 2D uh, movies and animate them, trying to find the pacing and uh, editing them to uh, uh, being like a rough little draft of, of the movies. Then we tend to move to, to Lightwave as early as possible, our main uh, 3D program, and uh, set up really uh, Low, uh, low detailed uh, drafts of all the 3D environments uh, and try to pin down the camera and uh, have it uh, really done and working as early as possible. Uh, since a lot of the work uh, goes into the backgrounds and the uh, 3D environments as well as the characters and uh, units and so on. So if we really early can, can say that this particular unit will not be uh, unit that will ever be shown uh, close up and uh, we can build it a little, uh, a little less detail and it will be much faster to build.